Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika, welcome to Floating in Dreams. This is my hobby YouTube channel and on here I like to talk about makeup and fashion related topics. And today I have a makeup related video for you again because that tends to be my favorite thing. I love a good eyeshadow palette so I chat about those loads. I do shop my stashes, get ready with me's, you know, the whole shebang. But I also like to come on here and talk about some other things, namely lipsticks. I'm currently in the midst of doing a series towards the end of the year where once a month I pick out a dedicated like color family in my lipstick collection and I do all the swatches and show you what's going on there. And I've already done bright lipsticks and red lipsticks so far. And there are a couple categories where I have loads of different things going on. However, today we are talking about a more curated selection, which is my favorite bright lipsticks for the fall winter season. I think a lot of people associate bright lipsticks with like the spring summer season when you wear like your hot pinks and those kind of things. But I have a dedicated category within my lipstick collection, which I like to call the bright berry. And I love those. So we're talking magenta shades today. We even have a little bit of purple going on. And those are the kind of shades that I really like to wear in like the cooler season to really help lift my mood because I love a good bright lipstick to just help lift my mood. So that's what I've got going on for you here. I don't have too many of these. I actually was a little hard pressed to even go through my collection to find 10. But I've got 10 lipsticks here for you today, so let's get started. And these are all going to be very vibrant and intense. And the first pick I have for you is the only pick I have from a drugstore brand that fits this category in my brain. And it's by Maybelline. And this is shade 680 Mesmerizing Magenta. I have no clue if they still do this. And mine is looking a little grim, but it's a really stunning shade. It looks like a standard bright pink in the tube, but I feel that when I put this on, it just has a little bit of purple running through it, a little bit of red, and it's just a really nice bright punchy color for the fall season. So let me show you this on my lips. So that would be mesmerizing magenta and as you can see it is pink but it has a little bit of a blue undertone to it it's very vibrant very like uplifting for my face i feel it really goes nicely with my complexion and this is just the kind of shade that you'll see is very very close to a lot of the other things i've got going on here some of them have a bit more purple running through them some of them are a bit more pink a little bit more berry it's sort of like Hot, if hot pink and like and a berry had a baby, that's what a lot of these shades boil down to. So let me take this off and move on to the next one. Next up is a brand that I really, really enjoy when it comes to these like very vibrant, bright lipsticks, and it's Bite. However, Bite redid the, their entire color selection, so I'm not entirely sure whether you can still buy these particular shades. This is in the shade Radish, and it's probably going to look just like the other one that I just showed you, but I feel that this is even more vibrant and I really like the, uh, the Bite formula for this. It just has a slightly richer vibe to it. Do you just see that it's a bit more berry leaning? And if I look at a radish, that's exactly the shade that this lipstick has, so I really enjoy that. So let me show you this one on. And that is what reddish looks like on me. I don't know about you, but this screams fall winter to me. It's like the best winter berry kind of shade, but without it being super dark and intense. Very often, because I'm so pale, very deep shades, which is a category we will get to before the end of the year, don't worry. But very deep shades can make it look a little overdramatic. But I feel that even with a bit of a smoky eye like I've got going on today, I feel this still goes, like it really lights up my face and I'm wearing quite a bright blush shade today as well. So I feel that this nicely complements my skin tone, it goes with my hair color really well and it just really brightens up my entire complexion and that's why I like these. I don't know about you but for me in the fall winter season I just need that little pick me up, I need any sort of help I can get to lift my spirits because it's always a little dark and dreary over here and then something like this just puts me in a good mood instantly so that's why i really enjoy radish but i do have a slightly deeper option for you that is a little bit more red toned leaning 
if that's if this is too purple for you because I can understand that this may, may be a little too out there for a lot of people I mean I'm not gonna lie these are all going to be this intense and vibrant there's nothing not a single nude in today's selection for sure because the next shade I want to show you is another bite beauty lipstick but this is in the shade beetroot and this is just a little bit more like it's darker it's like the darker version of radish that's the only way I can describe it it has that lovely beetroot kind of color so it's a really nice mix of something purple something red it's really like that sort of like if you ever like cooked beetroots you will find that the water goes a little bit like pinky purple almost and I feel that this shade looks like that on but really nice and intense and I love how this wears down throughout the day as well because it kind of stains your lips too. With this shade, I have to be um, I have to be very honest, this actually goes for all the bite lipsticks I have. I don't have too many of their darker shades because the formula of these is so creamy that I do feel they transfer quite badly. So whenever I wear this particular shade, I have to be very careful what I'm eating throughout the day. They, they stay put really well for how creamy these are. They stay put really well, I find but they do transfer and I once had the unfortunate luck to have decided to bring a pear <laughs> and eat it while wearing this and the lipstick had transferred to the bottom of my nose. It wasn't pretty, but yeah. Let me show you beetroot. So this shade I feel could potentially go into the more vampy category that I will be showing you towards the end of the year, but I like something a little even deeper when I go for something truly deep, dark, and vampy. But this is sort of like crossing, sort of like borderline to vampy, you could say. And that would be what beetroot looks like on me. Now with these, you always have to be very careful that they don't get all over your teeth either. Like they have a tendency to do that as well, so it's it pays off to like take a tissue and like do the tissue test. Just stick your finger in your mouth and wipe it off that way. But yeah, I think that this is still bright enough for it to function as a bright on me, especially once you start like wearing it down. It's vibrant enough, but it's also a little bit vampy. And I really like uh, how wearable this is. This with a green smoky eye on me is life. Because then the lipstick tends to pull a little bit more purpley and then the green and the purple really nicely complement uh, each other. So I love wearing this particular shade of lipstick with green eyeshadow looks. Next up is another shade that is going to be very difficult to find because Urban Decay just re-released their Vice lipstick line. So I don't think you can still get it. But do you just see the sticker on that? This looks a lot more dark, intense, and crazy in the bullet than it does once you put it on. This is in the shade Firebird, which I believe is a cream. It is. And it is very similar to the next shade I'm going to show you, but then lighter and brighter. This is a blue-based purple lipstick. It has, as I look at it here, the places where it has worn off, you can sort of see this blue flash coming through. So it does have a little bit of a shine to it, but it's not like, because it's not a flat matte, it is a cream formula. And that shine has this like bluish purple sort of flip to it. It has to be your cup of tea. This is a very cool toned lipstick, but I've got a cool to neutral undertone, which is why I feel it works on me. So let me show you this and show you that it's not as intimidating as this looks like in the bullet. And that would be what Firebird looks like. In fact, on me, I can't wait. Now that I'm putting this on again, I'm like, why didn't I wear this for such a long time? know exactly why something to do with masks and a pandemic um, because since this is a cream formula this will also transfer but how insanely intense and great is this like this is what I am looking for when I go for like a bright lipstick for the fall winter season it's pink but it's got a little bit of purple running through it like I said a little bit of that blue coming through especially now that it's on my lips but I don't know about you, but I feel that this looks great on. I know that a lot of you say that I look good in a bright lipstick and that you would never be able to pull it off. But I think that if you wear the right kind of makeup, you can definitely make it work. I mean, today I'm wearing perhaps a little bit too much of a smoky eye to be pulling off a lot of these things. However, this was like the only neutral eyeshadow palette that I had currently on my to trial pile that I was like, I'll just give it a whirl. If it comes out too dark, we're just going to roll with it. But 
I still feel I can get away with this. It works really well on me. And this is like kind of the kind of look that I want to go for in the fall winter season. So I do really enjoy this. And next up is what I would like to call the deeper, darker, more intense version of Firebird, which is by MAC. And it's called Rebel. In my brain, these kind of shades sort of do the same thing. However, I think Firebird is a lot brighter than this is. This is definitely more of a berry. It's another one of those lipstick that looks very, very intimidating in the tube. It looks like a very deep plum, but once you put this on, a lot, a lot of the pink that it has running through it comes through. And what finish is this again? This is a satin, so it does have a little bit of shine too. So I'll try put it right next to it. And then you'll see that it's a li little less pink than Firebird is. It's definitely a little bit more purple. So that would be what Rebel looks like on me. I don't know about you, but this just works every single time. Yes, it's quite purple, I'm not gonna lie, but for the fall winter season, there is just something about these deeper plummy shades that I just absolutely adore. Again, in the viewfinder, I feel that it looks perhaps a little bit vampy, but I don't mind that. I have vampier shades that are even deeper than this is, but this I feel works quite well with a lot of different looks. It works with a smoky eye like this. Like I mentioned, it looks stunning with green eyeshadow as well, or if you have green eyes, this lipstick is going to make your eyes look so much greener. It's going to look really, really fun. Um, but yeah, this is just, this is a staple for me. I've had it for years and I pull it out every single season. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do this series is to just, you know, go back to the lipsticks that I haven't really had a chance to wear in the past year and a half, almost two, uh, and really sort of um, see what's going on and reacquaint myself with some of my long-standing loves like this one. Next up is another one by MAC, and this is Flat Out Fabulous. Now this is perhaps one of the most uh, purple lipsticks that I'm showing you today. I'm not a huge fan of true, true purple lipsticks. I feel they can look a little weird. However, since I do have a cool undertone, I feel I can get away with it most of the time. This is a very pinky purple, so it's very vibrant. It's got a little bit of a white base to it as well. And this is a retro matte finish, which means it's super duper matte, very long lasting. It is not a shade for the faint of heart, I'm not gonna lie. Flat Out Fabul Fabulous is not one of my most reach for lipsticks for sure, but if you wanna have a bit of fun, this is a great one. And that is Flat Out Fabulous, and I think this is such a great, great lipstick. It is very vibrant and in your face, a lot more than anything else I've got going on. So it is very punchy, which has to be your cup of tea, it has to be your vibe. This again, if you pair it with greens, it's gonna be stunning, really, really stunning. Um, because then the, the lipstick will look a lot more purple than it does pink. I feel that it shows up quite pink right now. The lipstick that got this whole train started that made me realize how much I like a bright berry lipstick for the fall winter season is a very bougie option. I'm not entirely sure if this is still available, but it is by YSL. It's one of their matte lipsticks in 208, and the lipstick shade is called Fuchsia Fetiche. And this, it's really, really stunning. I have never found anything exactly like this. It is, you know, it's probably one of the brightest offerings I have for you today. It's not exactly white-based, but it is sort of like pink, but not too pink. It's not like your standard hot fuchsia pink, like you see a lot in like the spring-summer season. It has depth to it, and that's what I like about this lipstick so, so much. It just works really well on my complexion, and I keep reaching for this all the time in the fall-winter season and I can't wait to be wearing this again. And here you can really see what I mean with a bright winter berry. It's pink, it's very bright, it's very vibrant, but then it has this very sort of ripe berry vibe to it, and it has, again, a little bit of plum. 
And that's probably why this works so well on me. I just think this really brightens up my face. It just looks great. I feel great when I wear this. It's definitely a statement lipstick. But this, I think it goes really nicely with the blush I'm wearing today. Wearing like a very vibrant, corally pink blush from my Natasha Denona Love palette. And I really think it just brightens up my entire face. I really like this. I actually don't want to take this off. But I've got three more lipsticks to go, so let's soldier on. Now a lipstick that I feel is very similar to the YSL, but very difficult to find if you're not in Canada, is by Lee Swatche. And this is their Rouge Gourmand, I believe, in the shade Cassis. And this was sent to me in a swap by a subscriber that I did a couple of years ago. So this is a very lovely lipstick. I really like the formula of this. I wish I could buy Lee Swatche a little bit more easily. It's definitely not a brand that I can really find. And I feel that this is like the deeper version of that YSL lipstick. Like, it's a little bit more berry, but still really fun and vibrant and bright. So where I felt that beetroot was like the deeper version of reddish in the My Bite lipstick offering, I feel that this Lee Swatche lipstick is like the darker version of that YSL one. So depending on what you like and what you're looking for, either one of these I feel can really sort of take your look to the next level. And there we have Lee Swatche's Cassis. This is another matte formula. I really like the way this looks. It seems to have more red running through it than anything else I've just shown you. I mean, you can really see the difference here with like beetroot, which has quite a lot of purple. But I feel that this is like a bright, raspberry pink, but with a lot more of a red running through it. So we have really ripe raspberries. That's what this reminds me of. Again, really, really stunning. If you've got a green eye, like either green eyes or green eyeshadow, this will look really, really lovely. And that's another reason why I personally really like all of these shades a lot. I've got brown eyes, but depending on how the light hits it and what makeup I wear with it, it, they can look a little hazel, so I've got a hint of green running through it that you don't always see very well, but I feel that these lipsticks always make my eyes look a little bit brighter and not as intense brown as they, for instance, do when I wear like a navy smoky eye or something like that, yeah? So I can really play with the makeup I'm wearing to really sort of bring certain features more to the forefront, and if I want my eyes to just look a little brighter, a little lighter, then these kind of shades work on me really well, I find. Right, next up is a liquid lipstick, and this is from KVD Beauty, and this is in the shade Bauhaus. And this is that perfect blue-toned berry. I think this may actually be, it's a good thing I'm, sh I'm swatching it right below Firebird in a minute, because I feel this also has a lot of blue running through it. So it is sort of like a purpley berry shade, but I think that the shade you see on the wand is closer to what you actually get on your lips than the shade in the tube. Um, but yeah, this is a lovely lipstick. Ooh, yeah, it is. It looks like to look to be the more matte, darker version of Firebird for sure. Now I know why I love these lipsticks so much. So this is why I can't get rid of any of these lipstick, you guys. I'm pretty sure that to some people these are all going to look identical, but to me, they all do something slightly differently, which is why I love them. So let me put this one on my lips. And that's what Bauhaus looks like on me. Again, quite purple. We're definitely getting into more purple territory. This is probably about as purple as I would like to go personally. I do like it when purples are very vampy and very deep, when they've got a lot of black running through it. But when they're very vibrant, I feel I just can't get away with it. And they usually make my teeth look very green toned. But I feel that this... It's just really, really stunning. It has the right amount of pink, the right amount of purple, and as I mentioned already, I really feel it's like the matte, darker version of Firebird. Now I don't want to take this one off. <laughs> but I've got one more lipstick to show you. Okay, so my camera battery died, so I hope the angle is still okay. But I have one more lipstick to show you, and this is by ABH. This is in the shade Madison. And this is quite possibly the most purple lipstick I have. It's like a very vibrant, intense, 
lilac-y purple. That's the way I would describe this. I bought this off of the recommendation of Too Much Tash, but I bought it right as I sort of stopped wearing a lot of liquid lipsticks. So I haven't really gotten a lot of use out of it, but I kind of keep this around because this shade is so, so unique. But yeah, this is a lovely, lovely purpley kind of lipstick. Let me swatch it right here. Yeah, this is definitely a lot, a lot more purple than anything else. Can you just see that it's a little bit more purple again? So I think it's actually, now that I look at it, what was this? Um, yeah, it's a, it's perhaps a little bit closer to Flat Out Fabulous by MAC than anything else that I've got going on here. Um, but it doesn't, it, it has a really stunning shade and I wish I would wear more liquid lipsticks and think about them more often because then I would reach for this so much more, but it is a really good, bright, fun, colorful shade. I already mentioned that some of these other shades are not for the faint of heart. Well, this definitely isn't because this shade, yeah, it's definitely very bright, very punchy. It's got quite a lot of blue running through it, and this is where I feel that it's like borderline too purple for me. I can still make it work, especially if I wear something like that's very neutral on the eyes. I could definitely make it work. I think actually that this full makeup look works quite well, and I'm wearing a very like neutral kind of sweater as well. So as long as I don't make anything too flashy otherwise, I can definitely pull this off but it is definitely a shade that I think a lot of people you know, would be nervous to put on. Like I said, I don't wear it a whole lot, mainly because I don't love liquid lipsticks all that much, but the reason why this has earned a spot in my collection is just the fact that it's such a unique shade. So there you have it. Those were all the lipsticks that I wanted to share with you in today's video. My 10 favorite bright lipsticks for the fall and winter season. I hope it was useful to you that maybe you have some of these shades yourself and that I've inspired you to pull out some of your brighter shades. That would be lovely as well. I don't intend to be this video, like I don't intend this video to be like you having to go out and buy other lipsticks. I definitely didn't do that for this video. I definitely focused on things I already had. So please do that as well. And if you enjoyed this video, then please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.